Hey, good afternoon everybody. Eric from Thomas Hills Ranch here. And I wanted to show you a good before and after picture of the impact of goats. I've had several areas where I've hit the, not only the grass, but the thorny vines, whether they be the uh, multiflora rose or the blackberries or, uh, uh, what's the other one, greenbrier, which I don't think has thorns, but uh, nonetheless. Uh, and we also have honey locusts. I think, uh, yep, I think, no, that's not one. Well, I'll show you one if I can find it. But uh, we're in a good area now where I can actually see uh, a side-by-side -side, because I had to split these vines. These vines are so overgrowing parts of our property that I just had to go through with my scythe and just cut a path for the fence. Otherwise, the fence would just be laying on top of the, uh, the vines. So anyway, here it is. If you can see, let me swing this around here. This is the initial patch they did, and you can see it's it's pretty much just dead. I mean, there's no no leaves on it except a couple up top, and there I did have to deal with that eventually. This was a shorter patch here, and you can kind of see that they could get around it. But you see, this is the side they hit, and over here, this is the other side of the fence. So you can see it was a lot of the shorter vines. I would say at the most up to my hip. So not real hard for the goats to get through. But as we walk along here, you can see, and you can kind of see my, my place that I cut, you can see it gets much higher here. And this stuff, I can attempt to walk through. And it's just way too, too high. Well, I take that back. I just did, but I'll explain that in a second. But again, this is all filled with thorns, and uh, I see a winged elm growing up in there, a couple of winged elms growing up in there. Usually we have some, uh, some honey locusts, which I really want to show you, because the thorns on a honey locust, man, most thorny tree I've ever seen. It's just wicked. So if you see over here, this is the other side where they actually hit. And again, that's just, it's kind of night and day. Here's the what it did look like and here's what it does look like and again you see at the top there are a couple of leaves there where they just couldn't get to and I think they felt uncomfortable getting to which this paddock uh, it's a little smaller paddock and they either ate or trampled the grass and I was getting kind of uncomfortable I didn't want to keep them in here long enough longer uh, but there was this big patch in the center that they couldn't get to and I finally tried um, actually I got it from uh, crop circles I saw something on crop circles how people make crop circles and they take a stick with a rope and they walk through and they lay all the stuff down in the same direction that's exactly what I did here I walk over to my stick but I basically lowered it for him and once I lowered it you know you can see this one's uh, just a She's happy to kind of climb on it. They're happy climbing on it, but they don't like getting caught up in it. Uh, you can see the billy goat there. He's he's the tallest of the bunch, uh, along with some of the older does. They they have no problem getting in. But I tried a, a path through the center, and within an hour they cleared it out. And I just did this, and you can see they're they're more than happy to to go in there. Oop. So here's my stick. So I just have this old, it's an old staff that I made years ago, been sitting around, I just tied a couple of ropes to it, and really all you do is you put your, put your foot on it, you raise it up with the ropes, and you just kind of step, you walk your way forward. These were so high that I really had to hike my leg up there, I mean it was, <laughs> maybe I'm not that flexible, but uh, I had to really hike my leg up there to get it down, but once you could hear the, the stems cracking, because it's, it's winter time, or fall at least, and, uh, and you can see they're, they're fat and happy, I like that one, she's pretty. Some of these I really like their colors, I can tell some of these are going to do really well with this mandolin style, just uh, really eating it up out here. Some of them look a little thinner than I want, but uh, they're not getting any treats from me. They either survive here or they don't. I can't even see them. Oh, there she is. Just laying down in the middle. 
So on a, a beautiful fall day, hopefully we're getting some cooler weather here. We had a couple of days in the, uh, in the 70s and uh, hopefully we'll get a uh, cool front. I can feel something blowing in. It's supposed to rain, but I think it's only like a 10% chance. So uh, we're really enjoying our, our uh, I guess, warmer fall weather here and hoping for some colder weather. Anyway, God bless and we'll see you next time.